to show you how to tackle a more extreme color repair job. This green image of my uh, daughter Emma when she was very young needs, uh, might need some work. Uh, let's start off by uh, bringing down the highlights a little. So there we go. Now I have a little detail there where it was red before. Uh, maybe bring up my shadows a wee bit. Good. Okay, so actually, it's I, I like it green. Uh, there was some sort of green light or green cardboard that was creating this extreme color cast. But I'd like to show you how to get rid of that if you want to. And for that, I would use the calibration panel. So um, the first thing I would do is probably reduce the green saturation almost entirely and the next thing I would do is maybe move the blue hue a little bit to the left getting rid of that I don't know if I want to get rid of all of it maybe some of it and uh, move the red hue to the right Now it's starting to look actually fairly normal, which is kind of a miracle in a way. Um, if I bring up the red saturation, I start to get somewhat of a flesh tone in there that's quasi-normal. And there you have it. In like a couple of minutes, I've, I've transformed this into this. And uh, it's not necessarily better, but it certainly is different. And so you can... Um, you have a lot of choices in how you, you want to uh, output your images in uh, color editing and this calibration tool allows you to do things in a more extreme way that you wouldn't be able to, to use uh, in the basics or HSL panel. You might be able to do something similar with the channel mixer in Photoshop but this is actually a little more subtle than that. So. Um, uh, this would be the recommended tool for this kind of situation.